Hello, I'm Ian Waller, editor of Flyer Magazine, and welcome to a glorious first day at Aero Expo 2013. Let's have a look round and see what's here. So here we are with the Cessna Turbo Skyline JTA, clearly one of the stars of the show. This is its first UK appearance. Um, it's a very interesting aircraft. We first flew it back in the April issue of the magazine and uh, we're sure it's going to have a real impact on the marketplace. It's also a pretty clear example of the rationalisation of what Cessna are doing at the moment. We've heard the Skycatcher is very unlikely to come to Europe. This will also be the only aircraft now available in the 182 range. But it looks a pretty impressive aircraft. We're being told with four adults on board you're still looking at a five hour flight time. Uh, this is still in its experimental guise, but we're looking at approval, well, imminently, hopefully. The big thing about it, 40% lower fuel burn than its Avgas rivals, which is pretty impressive. Certainly an aircraft we'll be keeping an eye on. Here we are with the Bristol NG5, surely one of the best looking aircraft at the show. And with Fowey, the director, one of the directors of Bristol UK, not necessarily one of the best looking lads of the show. <laughs> no. But Fowey's here to talk to us about the aircraft. Fowey is just going through its permit to test as we're speaking. Yes, that's I believe. It. How's it going? It's going well. We are almost done the final stages and they are just going to do the compliance test, um, which is just a quick flight to confirm it is flying fine. And then uh, they grant us the um, full permit. Now you've so, already got orders in I believe, is it about 20 orders? About 21, uh, our books are full till next January, the first two kits are arriving in uh, about a week, seven days and then we're pushing to go further on. They're at the factory they're putting a new line just to deal with the kits so we might bring the delivery times a little bit lower but uh, we're doing our best at the moment. Okay now the price tag we're looking at basic kit of about £40,000. For what does that include? £40,000 includes the full fuselage kit including engine so really basically you're having everything engine. The only thing you have to worry about then is your avionics. We leave that out we don't put it part of the kit because that's very personal and Everybody have different tastes, so we leave it to customers to choose their own uh, fit. And you really. mentioned the engines included in that. Tell, tell me about the choice of engines available. Well, we have two choices at the moment. It's um, Jabiru 6, 3.3 litre, 120 horsepower, and uh, Rotax ULS, which is 100 horsepower. You can have either either. They both pretty much perform the same. Jabiru gives you a bit more power and a bit more climb, so if you have a very short field, you can choose the Jabiru to get off the ground quicker but apart from that they're both quite capable of performing pretty okay. well. Okay, there's no doubting it's been a tough few years for aircraft sales but one of the few growth areas has been gyrocopters over the last couple of years we've seen the likes of the Cavalon, the Calidus, the MTs coming over offering quite exciting options, uh, great looking good kits, good crosswind capabilities and of course now we've got a new one. Now this is the Zen 1 that's come over from Poland. Apparently it's been flying there since 2006. Being brought into the country by Rotolite UK. Not a lot of details at the moment. They're looking to get the permit sorted out within the next six months. Best of luck. We've heard all sorts of people giving different time frames on permits and they rarely hit the down, uh, deadlines. But this looks good. It's a good wide cockpit. Choice of Rotax engines. Uh, cruise speed of around 130 kilometres an hour. So certainly something to bear in mind. Can't say it's the best looking one I've ever seen, but it's certainly something to be of interest. SSDR, that single seat deregulated, it's a class of aircraft that hopefully is about to be given a new lease of life, thanks to this, the Ego. Now I'm here now with Tony Bishop, who's the director of Ego, who's going to tell me a little bit about the aircraft. Tony, this started as a result of you winning a competition, am I right in thinking? That's right. Six years ago, just after the deregulated class was uh, announced, the then PFA launched a design competition, and I own an aeroplane with a guy called Giotto Castelli, who's not here today, unfortunately, but 
uh, we decided to have a go at the competition. And um, rather to our surprise, we won it. Even more to our surprise, everyone said, can we have one? <laughs> so we decided to go ahead with developing it and launching it as a business. Now SSDR, as, as I understand, there's three main points to making an aircraft and SSDR. Can you tell us what they are? Please? Yes. First of all, it's, um, it has to be below 115 kilos ready to fly. So the whole of this aeroplane is about 115 kilos. Okay. Uh, it has a minimum handling speed of 35 knots. Um, it, the canard is unusual and it doesn't really stall. The canard stalls but not sure. the main wing. Uh, and it has to have a wing loading of less than 10 kilos per square meter ready to fly again based on 115 kilo weight. Well that's it for the first day at Aero Expo 2013. It's been a great day, the sun's been out and there's still plenty more to see tomorrow. If you do come along, come along to the Pilot Zone, we're at stand B8, we'd be lovely to see you.